Weeds and crop waste can serve as a breeding ground for pests and diseases, which can then multiply and eventually attack new crops, leading to high infestations. This video demonstrates the simple steps you can take to ensure that your new crops remain clean and disease-free by managing weeds and crop waste. The farm is run by my brother and myself, uh, Alan Produce. The farm's located south of Perth. It's in just out of the metropolitan area in uh, Quinana, Mandogalop area. Bioscurity is really important to us because we know of existing problems from other farms and that can cause us major issues. Especially we've got something like leeks which is a long crop, so weed management is mass massively important because it's obviously leeks coat takes six months to grow. We do a number of methods. Obviously, in part after the crop's finished, uh, road showing in and cleaning the crop, crop up. The waste from the shed is spread out and, and road showed and buried. Yeah. Uh, waste management is always an issue. One of the issues we have is nut grass, and I don't want to put that back in the field because it can cause problems. So we do a deep burial method where we put it quite deep in the ground so it doesn't rear its head again. And we try to keep the deep burial sites a fair way from production because we don't want that weed to come back to anywhere where the farm's crop's grown. Uh, we try to keep the garden as clean as possible, especially leading up to our main production periods. The rows, sprinkler rows, need to be sprayed off and kept clean. Older crops coming out need to be cleaned up before we plant a crop, young crop next to it. Crop rotation, so uh, after you've done certain crops, you put a different crop in, keeping the land fallow, so next time it's a lot easier. Also, something is like even letting certain weeds grow that aren't a problem. So you've created a, essentially a, a mat and then spraying that weed off that's not an issue and that's creating a matte surface for you. So it's more about total management. My brother and myself monitor the farm all the time. My brother more than me, but we both independently and together do farm walks to ensure that we've caught anything before it becomes an issue. There's weeds that we don't have and there's uh, pests and disease we don't have that we know exist around in the area and in the country that other growers suffer and we don't want them on this site. After watching the videos in this series, take the time to review your farm's biosecurity measures. Identify which pathways you are controlling well and which may require more attention. Create a biosecurity plan for your property. Through some simple steps and small changes, you can cost-effectively improve your on-farm biosecurity and reduce the risk to your business. And we are here to help. If you need any further information or would like to discuss how you can improve your farm's biosecurity, please contact Vegetables WA, the Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development, or Ausveg. By working together, we can create a sustainable vegetable industry.